Alright, hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2, Ripto is a bad villain. <laughs> See, now that will make him rage. Yeah, boy. That's the real Ripto's rage. Oh, man. I mean, in all, in all fairness, like, all the uh, villains uh, in, the ser in the Spyro trilogy have, like, problems of their own. Um... I mean, Nazi Nock works well enough, but he's also very simple and there's not a lot to him. Uh, Ripto has the problem of not doing anything, but he has good chemistry with Spyro. Um, and the uh, sorceress in the third game is the complete opposite of that, where, like, she has stuff that she's doing with the uh, Rhinox in the stages, but she has, like, no connection to Spyro whatsoever, or, like, interaction with him. But, you know... It's a jam hunt. Yeah, so we're just just gonna clear out the um, uh, hub world um, first before we enter anything. Now, when I played Spyro two, I just kind of how did I handle it? I just I cleared out. I cleared the hub world out as I approached level, as I went through the levels. Yeah, I mean that's kind of how. I, that's basically what why. Uh, tried doing for the most part in the uh, first hub world because the progression of that is a lot more linear um, and you kind of get more levels as you went through but this is this hub world and the last one is more of an open space I'll talk I'll talk to you later <laughs> well done, Spyro. The power from your orb has activated the world. yeah so the orbs um can activate different things throughout the hub worlds and stuff. Um, so, we'll be seeing more of that as we go through. Jam! I just love it when the collectibles don't show up until you get close. Yeah, like, old PS1 draw distance stuff. That's gonna be... It's gonna... Uh, be very cool for that not to be an issue in Reignited. I mean, if they... It, it, that better not be an issue. Because <laughs> like, you have PS4 technolo technology now. Scorch. Yeah. Yeah, this is a... This is, um... The longest... Hub world in the trilogy by a long shot. There's a lot of levels here, um, and I can't guarantee we're going to be finishing finishing all of this today. I don't think we will be. <laughs> yeah. I'll tap out through motion sickness before that happens. Yeah, and I don't want to be here for like five hours. <laughs> so what do you feel about the orbs as like MacGuffins for this game? They do their job. Pretty much. That's pretty much the best way you can describe it. They aren't. They they do what they need to. Eh? They unlock things um, progressively. Um, they're the last thing you need to get to get to Ripto. So spoilers, I guess. Oh man. I like how in Enter the Dragonfly you just see money bags one time and then never again. Really shows that the the game was just not finished at all. Yeah, you think that's technically a blessing in disguise for this one time. That one time. Yeah. I also like how there's like free money bags in this world or um home world. Yep. I would love to let you enter the speedway free of charge, Spyro. Love to. Unfortunately, the speedway rules require me to charge a small fee. You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. Alright then. No, we're not gonna be doing this just yet. Yeah, we're 
into that real quickly. But like, I, that's another cool little secret you can find. Just find a cracked wall and just bash it. Glad yeah. we have four. The fact that we have two speedways here does pretty much prove that they were probably supposed to have in our hub world. Yeah, because I feel like uh, my one of my problems with this game is that it feel the pacing feels a little bit weird. Is that if I feel like if they had another hub world and spaced the levels out a bit more evenly, then it would it would be a bit a, a lot better. Because in Spyro 1, you had three regular levels, a speedway and a boss stage, um, which, you know, kept the flow going at a reasonable pace. Um, and it didn't feel like one home, t home world in particular taked, uh, took too long compared to another. Whereas in this game, uh, the first one's reasonably long, and then you have the second one, which is incredibly long compared to everything else. And then you have the third one, which is really short compared to the other two. So, like, yeah, I think if they just put a couple more levels into the third, the final one, and added a fourth home world, it would be balanced a lot better. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Another cracked wall. And. Okay, we're done. Nice. So, let's see. What level should we go to first? Skelos Badlands or the one up there, which is. Crystal Glacier? Uh. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> which one is the one with the alchemist? Uh, that's. Um, no, I think that's further down. <laughs> In time. I guess we'll do this one. Okay. Rip. <laughs> Spyro, the ice wizards have imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to the nice hockey game in Colossus Valley. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to just say I don't want to save his life. I just want to get tickets to a, a ice hockey game. But like. Yeah. If you get on the catapult, we'll help you across the chasm. I'm not sure if we've mentioned it yet, but I do appreciate how the um the intros and, and all that like kind of show you what the dilemma is for a world before you even start playing. It's like a show don't tell kind of thing, which I appreciate. Even if they if the even if the characters do tell you what's going on after but regardless. Now what do you think about like the intros and stuff in the the uh, little cutscenes they added? Scrappy? Oh, excuse me. Mine was muted for a moment. Um They're cute, I like them, they give each full personality. Yeah. It's admittedly something I do miss when I play Spyro 3. So I don't necessarily think the series needs it, needs them, but it's a nice little inclusion. It, like, just adds some personality. It would be nice if Hero Dragon did it in the remake. They won't, but it'd be nice. Yeah. Because I, I, I've heard, like, um, Toys for Bob heard, heard complaints about, uh, 
the, the insane trilogy not always being as faithful as it could be with like controls and like hitboxes and stuff. So the they want to try and make it as faithful to the originals as possible, which probably means uh, some Game of the same it. some of the same issues will still be there. Which uh, uh yeah, what are you gonna do? Uh, Crystal Glacier is a fine level. Um, I like I like snow and ice levels, so that's a a given from me. But I uh, know I like I like the design. Color palette is nice. Yeah. But yeah, like the. I don't think we talked about it that much yet, but like the hover you get after doing a um, a glide, that's like a godsend for Spyro now. And it's uh, it, going back to Spyro One is really weird not having that. Today I learned that snowballs have bugs inside of them. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I think we're done here. Huh? I'll talk to that guy later. Right, first off, I'm just gonna clear out the gems and stuff. Yeah, these guys aren't gonna count for the uh, the spirit particle stuff because uh, yeah, the whole mini, mini game or like challenge is to kill all these guys in like one pass because they eventually respawn. So. Alright, I definitely can't pass that. Alright, what do you got? Hello there, Spyro. I could arrange for you to cross this bridge for <coughs> a small fee. <laughs> Thank you, Spyro. Now I can buy that condo in Horacos that I've been wanting for so long. Go ahead and cross the bridge. Does money bags look colder than usual? Yeah, he has like a uh his the colour palette looks a lot um Blue it, bluer, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a deal with the lighting or if that's like actually part of his model. Because if it is, that would be a nice attention to detail. Right, I think, I think we've got enough for the uh, power gate now. Yep, nice. Oh, also one one uh, change uh, that said uh, appreciated is um the li the light the way you get lights is a lot different now. So um get like a a jar with a a, s a specific butterfly in it, um and that will give you a life and also full health back, as opposed to Spyro one where it was just like a random Spyro head, but that didn't actually refill refill your health. So that. Added features appreciated, and I think you can also get an extra life by just eating a bunch of butterflies in general. There we go. Yep. You have saved us all from a grisly fate. Please accept this orb as a small token of our thanks. Yeah, no complaints about this one. Simple. Uh, 
flying challenge, kill the enemies in time, and, you know. Today I also learned a glass that fire shatters glass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I guess to get a little bit of a conversation going, uh, what, what are your general, like, feelings towards, like, snow ice levels, generally? Because they seem to have a negative rep for a lot of people. Snow levels are fine, ice physics are fine, depending on, on, the, on how it works, really. Yeah. Because I, I, I'm usually fine with ice phys physics when they're, um, done well, but, like, there are so there are some like um, times where where like when the ice physics don't mesh well with the level design or the ice physics are just intrusive in general is where I would draw the line I guess. This is just a snow level. This is just a level of snow aesthetics. It's yeah. There's no real ice gimmicks here, and I, I like the look of snow, just in general, in game and in real life. I don't, like in general, like I, I just get like a this childlike glee whenever it snows, and like what just the feel of like walking in the snow in like boots or whatever, just it just feels good. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but It's always weird seeing these anthropomorphic characters with these non-anthropomorphic animals. Yeah. Uh. Mm. And George has a very particular order of eating fish, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, there's no real way to fail this minigame. Like... I know, it's, it's cute, I suppose. But, like... I guess, uh... I guess you can kind of call it an issue in some ways, like, the, there are quite a few uh, minigames in Spyro 2 that are very simple and easy, and uh, don't really have much challenge, so um, they probably could have been easily cut and nothing would really would have been lost. Um, but... It's fine, it's one's just busy work. Yeah. I mean, if the worst I can say about it is that it's, uh, it's harmless and, uh, doesn't really, like, remove from, uh, like, doesn't make the quality of the game bad, necessarily, then it's not the worst thing ever. Because I do want to make it clear, like, I do like this game and I do enjoy playing it, but, you know, it does have its uh, problems that should be addressed. Because a lot of people, a lot of people do declare this the best game in the trilogy, and that's fine. It's not, it's not mine, but, um, you know, I'm not one, I'm not, I'm not one to force opinions on people. I am. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not even sure what my favorite in the trilogy is. I kind of just say it how it is. I don't um, like the way I feel about something is what I'm gonna say. I don't think about how people will react. Like I'm almost, I'm honest, obviously not gonna be like disrespectful, like mean to like the opposite opinion, but. You know, the way the way I feel is still the way I feel. Nice. They destroyed their own house. <laughs> you think those guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two ton snowball on my head? <laughs>
Also, the talismans are only a thing in this game. I don't... They're, I'm pretty sure they aren't in any other... Or, like, something like that isn't in, in any other game. And I don't... So, you know, the, the banners? I thought you had to burn them all to get, like, a skill point. Uh, you can burn them. I don't know if that's ever a skill point, though. We might... I mean, if we miss something, we might have to look look it up. But I, I, I can... I, I remember most of them off memory. <laughs> oh, these buffoons. Why, is, why are all the denizens assholes in, in these cutscenes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I, I always, yeah, I, I will say, like, this game... Especially over Spyro 1, like, there's actual, like, characters and stuff, and it feels like they, they, the levels feel like actual worlds. Whereas in Spyro 1, it it did admittedly feel like a wasteland, with, like, a bunch of random dragons just trapped in crystal. Why are I they mean, called the Badlands? Uh... I guess for like the dinosaur like enemies, I don't know. Wait, well, he, he's dead. <laughs> good luck coming back good luck coming back from that. Alright, I believe there's two uh skill points here. Uh one of them is to get rid of all the cacti and another is to get rid of all these enemies. So you just keep, try and keep track of all the enemies and just kill the guys you see you should be able to just get it eventually hey dragon i hear you're pretty tough i bet my cousin glug you wouldn't be able to make it through badlands without getting singed imagine if it was actually a no damage run a uh, no damage run would be evil blake oh, what? all right i had to head bash like, imagine, yeah, imagine if, like, this was, like, a Crash 1 thing, where, like, you couldn't die. That'd be evil. Hmm. There's not much to say about, like... The enemies here. Uh, I mean, those hotheads are clever, at least. Yeah, the hot the hotheads are pretty um interesting. Like you have to head bash them and worry about the projectiles they shoot out, and um, they kind of kamikaze themselves after that. You know, in, in general, like um, spar spar enemies um are usually not much of a threat. Uh, they're, they're probably the most threatening in the first game, honestly. Especially at endgame. I'm trying to remember those grenade throwing ones at all towards the end of the game. Yeah, there's like, the ones in Nasty's world, like the ones that have like, the guns and stuff are really deadly. Although there are, um, in Spyro 3, there's like, the dinosaur trio or whatever in the, in one of the, in one of the levels. Those guys are really dangerous as well. I remember this mission giving me trouble a while back. Yeah, okay, so, um... This is, um... A fun concept for a, uh... Oh, one of them's dead. Wait, wait. Uh, I thought so. I think you missed... You missed one back behind you. Oh, yep. Yeah. Chomp. Man. Oh goodness! It's fine. It's not canon. But like, this is a fine concept for a uh, challenge. But I think the yeah. Okay, I need to just concentrate for a second. Yeah. That way. There we go. But like, there's a harder version.
But like, it's a f it's a, this is a fine concept for a challenge, but I think if they just had a better camera angle where you could see everything, and like all, all where the dinosaurs are coming out from, um... Basically make everything top down. Yeah, make everything top down, because when you can't see where the where they're coming out from it kind of becomes a mess and you just in like just trial and error for because of that and i don't know like they, Again, they are these are these are these millions of ripto or are they yeah. just kind of i think i've screwed up anyway yeah there's no way that guy was walking into that <laughs> It would be but yeah, it would have been better story wise if they if they like it was like Oh these these lizard uh, eggs came like Ripto made him made these uh, appear with his magic or whatever but whatever. Ripto's wand head got swallowed, remember? Uh I guess yeah that's true. He's gonna make gulp Belshi incantations. Huh. Yeah, that kind of makes the makes the makes uh kind of shoots the shoots the game in the f the story in the foot in the in a sense because like we you uh, you make uh, Ripto's one get eaten. Wait, whoa. Ah. Oh, okay, I need to get that guy first at the start of the game. And this comedic, but it also makes it so Ripto can't do anything. I'm really glad they don't make these missions tied to your lives. Yeah, that would suck. Ah, oh, dang it. No, I'm just gonna kill myself. Wait, why would you do that? Does it reset? Oh, yep. Yeah, a lot, a lot of minigames would, uh, would be fixed if they just gave the game... Uh... Uh... I forgot about one, didn't I? Yeah, okay, yeah. If they just made a better camera angle. Because when you can't see what's going on, it's not really fair challenge. And then these two. Nope! Ah, oh, dang it. You hit him! <laughs> I clearly hit his back. <laughs> like, that should have registered. Alright, I think I've got this now. Nope. Uh. No, I think I'm too slow. Yeah. I really- I shouldn't be take, having this much trouble on this. Alright. Temp times the charm or whatever attempt this is. Alright, quickly. Nice. Oh. Oh, well. Alright. Alright, so another thing we need to watch out for in the... in this stage... Um... Are these little guys that have the... these bones? And we need to call all of those to get the bones back. So, just shoot this guy. And get that, get the guys up here. How do I get up here? Hmm. I guess I can just find my way around. Oh, 
Au. Nice. Oh, that actually killed that guy. Hmm. Alright, I need to remember I can't do that. I think there might be some kind of auto, auto aiming thing going on when you spit something out, but I usually just do the uh, lock on because it just feels safer or more reliable, I guess. Now this is a this is pretty cool. Uh, you kill out enough enemies, you can use this sh get the shield upgrade. Let you walk in this goopy lava or whatever you want to call it, and it lets you access a lot more of the stage. And I like I like things like that. I think this is technically the end. You made it through the badlands. I knew I'd win that bet. My cousin Gronk is a fool to bet against a dragon. Take his talisman for helping me out. <laughs> what if it's literally just a bone? <laughs> yeah. And like not even a bone of like an ancestral elder, like just a chicken bone. <laughs> I like how that they bother to like give the mini games like difficulty rankings cuz like th th honestly that they, they those don't really mean much in the grand scheme of things. Some of them are more accurate than others. Yeah. Oh, oh I got a life nice. Okay, that that's not do it like that. They they not they want us to use uh, the projectiles for these guys. I wonder. No. Nope. Oh, that worked. Okay, I'm just gonna aim. This should be the last one, unless there's another enemy. Okay, yeah, that's a skill point. I'm not sure not sure if you got one for the cacti yet. Yes, you yes. Oh, okay. That's how you got the other life. Oh. Yeah, because uh Yeah. All you have to all you have to look out for is the the life and a little jingle. Is there a way to check the uh, skill points right now? Uh, no. Hmm. I know you can check it at the end of the game, and I mean, again, if we have to go back for things, we have to go back. It's not really too much of an issue. Right now we just have to do clean up pretty much. Now we've got a um, mystery pot over there. Hmm. 
not... Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the mystery pots, honestly, because they feel more like busy work and less like an actual challenge. Because what they do is basically, you hit it, you hit it once, and then it get, uh, warps to another place, and you keep hitting it, and it keeps warping until you go near the start of the level, and then, it, and then, at that point, it just breaks open with a bunch of gems. And oh yeah, I forgot about those. Yeah, I I think they sometimes appear in Spyro Three levels as well, but in general, I yes, they do. Yeah, like in general, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of those. Like, there's nothing inherently challenging about it, and it just feels like unnecessary busy work on top of what you already need to do. And they probably just could have cut them, and I don't know. I don't see a reason for them to be here because as far as Spyro One had a lot of interesting uh, treasure chest like. Or ways you open chests, um, so to have that be replaced with something kind of not not necessarily boring, but just kind of <laughs> pointless is a little bit like eh, like they could have done without this. Oh, I thought they thought you killed all of them. Yeah, I thought I did too. Oh. Light didn't come out. You're still stuck. Nope. Oh, come on. <laughs> that guy's like trolling death right there. And yep. Thank you, Spyro. Now I can put my friend back together. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. A fairy left it with me a little while ago. That should be a little yeah. I keep on forgetting that Zoe and her friends are the ones who scattered the orbs. How come she doesn't just ask for them back? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then we wouldn't have a video game. I mean, this a lot of this game, uh, the general pro, uh, like crisis would be averted if they, if they just let Ripto go back to the portal to grab for him and Crush and Gulp to just grab their stuff, and then when they do walk into the portal, shut the portal down so they can't come back in. That's all you needed oh. to do. Oh gosh, you just ruined the plot of the game for me. <laughs> but that's all they had to do, and then. Like, they, I mean, maybe, like, Ripto and I have found, found a way to get around it eventually, but you'd have a lot of time before then to, uh, you know, uh, prepare, I guess. But, like, if they just did that, then, you know, they'd be Ripto free for at least a long while. <laughs> Uh, you, just ru you just ruined the game for me. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, right. Jump up there. How in the heck? You got, you got to go up and then fly from there. Oh, right, yeah. I mean, I do, like stuff like this it doesn't it doesn't happen as much in Spyro 2 as it does in the the other two games to, as much as I'd like but you know I, I like instances where you have to use the 3d environment to your advantage like reach a higher point and then glide to another point to enter like another area I think that's like j it, it's really satisfying uh, to find new s areas and stuff by like, just using Spyro's general abilities. And, um... I mean, it happens... decently enough in this game, but... I feel like the level design in general... compared to the first game and the third game is just generally a lot more... I don't want to say basic, but... they don't... the level design doesn't... use... Spyro's abilities 
to their full advantage as much as they could, I feel. Nice. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 